Hello and welcome to the video how to run Java web project in IntelliJ IDEA with me, Nam Hamik from CodeJava.net. Through this video, I will guide you how to run the standard Java web project uh, that is created in IntelliJ IDEA and how to run the Java web project uh, that is imported from Eclipse IDE. And I suppose that you will have these software programs installed on your computer Java Development Kit JDK IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition and Apache Tomcat server. This is IntelliJ IDEA on my computer and as you can see I'm using the version 2020.1.2 here and let me open an existing Java web project here, paper and test. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, this is an existing uh, Java web project created in IntelliJ IDEA. And before running this uh, Java web project, uh, make sure that you enable uh, some plugins. So go to menu file, settings, and plugins section, and uh, type uh, Tomcat. So make sure that this plugin uh, Tomcat and Tommy e is enabled. And the second uh, plugin is uh, application server view here. So make sure that this plugin is also enabled. So click OK. So uh, before running any Java web project in IntelliJ IDEA, you need to make sure that the Tomcat and Tommy E plugin is enabled because uh, this uh, plugin uh, enables uh, the deployment and running Java web applications. And the second plugin is application uh, servers view that uh, allows the management of running uh, servers inside IntelliJ IDEA. Now come back to the project and uh, click menu run. Uh, edit configurations here and click the plus uh, button here. And in the list, choose uh, Tomcat. You see Tomcat server local because I'm going to run this uh, Java project uh, with the local instance of Tomcat server and enter the run configuration name as uh, Tomcat local. And you need to specify the installation directory of the Tomcat server here. Click configure and choose the installation directory of Tomcat, Tomcat home here. I'm using Tomcat version 9.0 here. Click OK. OK. And uh, click the deployment tab here. Click the plus button here to add an artifact. If you don't see any artifact here, uh, you need to go to the module settings. Click OK here. And uh, right click on the project here. Open module settings. And in the artifact section here, click the plus button to create a, a Java web application exploded from module here, from the project here, OK, click OK, and now uh, edit the run configuration here, deployment, click plus button, artifact here, it chooses the paper and test award exploded artifact. And here we can change the uh, application context part here. Uh, remove the text it will explode it. And uh, it will open a web browser after starting the server. And I'm using Chrome by default here. This is the URL of the web application. And this is the HTTP port number. If you want to change the port, uh, type different. Uh, port number here and you can also choose uh, which uh, log files to be displayed uh, in the IDE when running by default it will display the log file for Tomcat localhost and Tomcat Catalina which is a server log ok that's it and click ok and uh, click menu run uh, run and choose the uh, run conclusion Tomcat local here. It uh, will build the project first and then it deploys the project onto um, Tomcat. So it takes a moment. 
Okay. Here goes the server is being uh, started, and you see it automatically opens the web browser and opens the URL of the web application here, the paper and test project here. And you can see is uh, logging information. This is from uh, Tomcat uh, local host, and this is uh, log uh, from uh, Tomcat Catalina Tomcat local host server here. And you can see some uh, useful information in this uh, output here. Artifact paper and test exploded, deployed here, deployed successfully here. And when we come to this uh, best, that means the application paper and test has been deployed onto uh, a Tomcat instance and it is running. And click the checkout button here. And you see the PayPal, uh, payment interface here. That means uh, the web application is uh, running normally on an instance of uh, Tomcat server inside IntelliJ IDEA here. And it prints some uh, debugging information here. Uh, when finished, you can uh, click the red button here to stop uh, Tomcat server here. To so I click the stop button here. And you can also open the service view. So go to the menu view to Windows uh, service here. Yeah. So you will be able to manage uh, running uh, Tomcat server. So uh, click the plus button here and run configuration type here and choose uh, Tomcat server here. And here you can see uh, you can manage the running instance of Tomcat server here. You can see the run configuration name Tomcat local here and the project here. You can right click to edit the configuration here. Yeah, you can edit uh, various settings uh, for the server here and for the deployment. Deployment here, you see. Now, let me use this services view to start. Tomcat again. Right click here, run. Okay, Tomcat is being uh, started. And again, you see, after uh, started, it will open the uh, default URL of the web application paper test here. So in IntelliJ IDEA, if you don't have the application application servers view enabled, you don't see this uh, view. You see only this uh, run uh, Tomcat local view here. So in the service CV here, service CV view here, you can manage uh, running uh, Tomcat instance and uh, running uh, web project uh, more easily. Now I stop the web application. Okay, so that's basically how to run a Java web project uh, in IntelliJ IDEA with the project uh, standard web project created in IntelliJ IDEA. Now let me open uh, another web project that is imported from Eclipse IDE, is a bookstore website project here, and uh, run this uh, project uh, on a uh, Apache Tomcat server inside IntelliJ IDEA, so we will understand uh, common issues when running a Java web project. Okay, so here we go, the bookstore website project that is imported from uh, Eclipse IDEA, and you can see it has a slightly different uh, directory structure. The uh, web pages are inside the web content, not in the web directory here. Okay, so go to the menu run, uh, run here, edit configurations here, click the plus button, choose Tomcat local here, and by default it we choose uh, the Tomcat home directory of the previous configuration, and click uh, deployment, click plus button here to add an artifact, 
and choose the artifact for bookstore website will explode it okay and change the uh, application context part here to just a bookstore website here okay and click uh, run Okay, the server is uh, starting here. And uh, we got an uh, error here. You see, uh, error during artifact deployment. See server log for details here. So you can open the Tomcat Catalina log here. Or to get local host log here and you can see the error here exception in initialize the error here persistent exception no persistent provider file for entity manager uh, that uh, means uh, in this uh, project we are using a jpa with the uh, persistent uh, XML file in the meta INF directory here, yeah. uh, but uh, somehow you see uh, it uh, is not included in the deployment. If you edit the configuration here, deployment, edit the artifact here, and you can see the output layout. This is the directory structure of the deployment mm, here. And you can see the meta INF directory here, but it uh, doesn't contain uh, the persistent XML file here. So you can uh, uh, click the plus button here to add a file and choose the file from the project here. Meta INF persistent .xml. Click OK. Click OK. Okay, and uh, rerun the server, restart the server. Uh, we got another error here. Click to get local host lock. And we still want this error. Now that means uh, we need to edit the configuration again. Deployment here. Uh, we need to put the meta INF directory inside the classes directory in the under the web INF here. It is not uh, the correct place here, so click uh, minus here to remove and. Click button here to add a uh, create a new directory. Yeah, meta INF. So this is to demonstrate that if you uh, experience some problems uh, during deployment, you can uh, customize the uh, output layout of the deployed website here. Yeah. And then I choose the file here and choose the persistent.xml here. Okay, so the persistent XML file here. Click OK. OK, and rerun the server. OK, it is working now. This time we see. Uh, lots of uh, messages and you can see it uh, opens up the web browser uh, with the uh, URL of the application bookstore website here that means the application has been deployed successfully and now it encounter a different error uh, this is uh, due to uh, incorrect uh, uh, database uh, column names no problem.
So that means uh, the application uh, is uh, up and uh, running, and this is just the problem itself. So that's how to uh, run uh, Java web project in IntelliJ IDEA. The project uh, is imported uh, from uh, Eclipse IDE, and the most important thing here I want to tell you is that when you have some problems, you can go to the Edit configuration and edit the deployment artifact. Edit output layout here. Uh, adding new directories, adding new files uh, in the directory structure here to make the application running on the server. Okay, so far you have learned how to run a Java web project in IntelliJ IDEA. I'd like to summarize some key points here. Uh, first, you need to uh, make sure that the two plugins, uh, Tomcat and TomEE, and application service view are enabled. And uh, uh, create and edit a run uh, configuration. Uh, adding Apache Tomcat runtime, create and add deployment artifact, and configure deployment artifact in case you have uh, issues. So I hope you will find this video helpful. Please uh, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thank you.